So how do I see the One Health story making improvements in the near term as well as in the future? In the near term, what I see is PhytoCure as really the one, the first One Health product. And this first product is going to help to define what the dog's cancer um, looks like from a genomics lens. It's going to put that definition into context about what best treatment the dog should be getting right now. It also contributes to an enlarging data set that allows us to understand the interrelationship between the dog, their tumor, the treatments that they're receiving, and outcomes. We're going to start to understand how do we use these, ta these therapies best for dogs. So for example, whether or not we should use them first line or later lines in combination. Do we increase the dose or decrease the dose? Do we add supportive care agents? And then interestingly, this entire story for dogs is going to be transferable over to our understanding about how to take care of humans. We're going to start to develop better drugs in the human space and they'll come back to the dog space. So this is how I see it all coming together. Veterinary medicine is chasing the tails of human medicine. They do something 15 years later, a drug becomes affordable, then we do something. It, constantly people are coming into the office being like, well, how come you don't do immunotherapy? How come we don't do this? How come all these drugs are available to people, but they aren't available to dogs? And for the people who are coming to treat their animals for cancer, those dogs are family. They feel like if they're getting it, why shouldn't we? And PhytoCure is absolutely working to bridge that gap. There are drugs available to patients that would absolutely not be available to them otherwise. For one, we don't have the knowledge base to use those. And pooling our resources through a company like the One Health Company, we are better able to figure out data and long-term ramifications and side effect profiles of these drugs that we've never played with before. Additionally, because the pharmaceutical companies get to decide how much drugs cost and how much they don't cost, and as a human being, you go into the hospital and your insurance just kind of pays for it, these dogs don't get access to drugs that cost $280,000 a year because who has that? You know, one person maybe. But through this, because of the One Health Company, because of that translational medicine concept where dogs benefit, but people ultimately benefit from this data too because there is such a willing exchange of information that we have options available to us that were not available to us before. And it's actually incredibly exciting to be able to, from my standpoint, I guess, play with these drugs from the standpoint of the people who are receiving them to have opportunities and hope in scenarios where maybe there wasn't one before.